Well, I think the other, probably the other thing with regards to just talking about our training is we do spend a lot of time uh, helping the client, the clinician understand the clinical landscape of the client. We spend a lot of time teaching resources that are going to be helpful for the client to manage before, during, after. And then I think the other really most uh, valuable aspect of the, our approach is that processing continuum where uh, one size doesn't fit all. We can kind of really titrate down to very small experiences, which particularly for a clinician learning EMDR, it's like, let's start small. Let's get in the shallow end with our client and both of us learn how to get our ankles wet and then slowly we'll get more deeply into the experience. Uh, in contrast to a lot of other training approaches that only teach this open-ended thing, which many times uh, me is almost like you're jumping in the deep end together when neither of you are ready. So I think our, our, op our approach gives the clinician opportunities to gradually work their way into gaining confidence so that they can work with these more difficult clients. And in, while they're working with them, they can also compartmentalize down the incidents to manageable experiences, not only for the client, but also for the clinician. So I think that's probably the biggest uh, paradigm shift that I think from the traditional model that was developed by Francine, you know, 30 years ago for a single incident trauma, we've kind of evolved into this next generation that, options, that gives you a lot of other options.